Hi, welcome back. So, today I want to do a quick overview of the conclusions on this and obviously put the flight footage up. So you're going to see the flight footage which is recorded directly to the SD card and you're also going to see footage from my GoPro that I've shot to show you how stable this is or not in the air in that, as the case may be to see what that's like. So, my conclusions are this. This thing flies amazingly well. It's very smooth in the air, it's very precise, it holds its position extremely well. You're going to see it hovering, you can see how nice it is. And it, everything about the way it flies is brilliant. The camera is what you'd expect. It's not brilliant, it's, got, it's only doing 8 megabits per second. You're never going to get a great picture at 8 megabits per second. It's, going to, it's far too low for a 1080p camera to have a really good strong resolution. It looks grainy like you'd expect and there's obviously movement in the drone because this is not stabilised. Goes up and down, it's not stabilised. The controller, I'm not the biggest fan of this controller, but actually, this seems to be one of the better ones I've used. And that's probably because the drone flies so well, but yeah, it feels alright in your hand. I don't like the, the controller at all, I'm not going to pretend to do and I don't like the way it holds the phone, but it, it did okay. Everything works as it should have done. Take off and land worked really well. I haven't tried to turn to home, I'll do it in another video when I do the flight modes. Um, but everything else, yeah, it seemed to work fine. So, the downside to this drone, because there is a downside, A, one's the price. If it was a cheaper, if it was cheaper, it'd be easier for me to recommend this. This is a nice drone, don't get wrong, it's a very nice drone. It flies very well and it blew me away a little bit because I wasn't expecting it to fly as nice as it did. But the one major thing about this is, it said it's got 16 minutes flight time. It's had 8 minutes flight time. Fully charged battery, 8 minutes. Now, it is cold outside today, I'm not saying it isn't. So you can knock a couple of minutes for that, but 2, maybe 3 minutes max. But that would only make 11. So it's claimed the 16 minutes are miles out. Now, it might just be me. I'll, I will, when I do the further video and show you the things, I'm, the three of the uh, settings on the app and everything like that, and I'll show you the follow me mode and what have you, it might have longer. But I won't be convinced. And I think it's because... It's a heavy drone, and because of the weight of it, I don't think this battery is going to give you good flight time. It's only 1200 milli milliamp hours, and it's 2S. So I'll be surprised if it does have much better flight time. So that's to me, is a disadvantage, and of course the price. It, it, it's too expensive for what it is. If this was, I don't know, I, I got this cheap, so I'm not comparing it to what I paid for it. But if it was, say, £60 now, or 65 quid, I'd probably say, yeah. Get it because the batteries are probably going to be quite. Well, they, they must be quite cheap because of the packs. If you buy it with a one, two, and three battery, there isn't that much of a difference in price. So, possibly if you do it that way, it might be good with another couple of batteries. But the kit at the minute with three batteries is over hundred pound, and it's just not worth hundred pound. But not a bad drone. I enjoyed flying it. I'll do some more flights with it. I'm also going to do a video comparing this to the Vizio X812 because, in my opinion, that is my mark for a brushless GPS, a brushed GPS drone with camera. Let's see what it compares like to that. But for the initial flight I've had with this, I was impressed with the way it flew. It was lovely, nice to fly. Camera, what I expected. Battery time, not great at all. So, enjoy the video that's coming up. Thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. So as you can see from the video, it's extremely stable in the hover and flew really, really smoothly. It's not, it's a brushless drone, that's what you've got to remember, so there is a bit of movement in the air, but all in all, a nice flyer. Alright, so this is the video coming directly from the SD card to the camera. So as you can see, it's quite grainy. That's because it's only an 8 megabits per second transfer rate. It's far too low to get decent quality video. However, the camera, I suppose, does what, it's, does what it needs to do for a brushless drone. It's a cheap drone. It's just a bit overpriced. Like I said, if this drone was £50-55 pounds and it had a longer battery life, then I think it'd be great. The battery life kills it a bit and the camera is what I expected. No more, no less.